Hey everyone, it's Liz and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys everything that I use in my hair when I am doing my hair curly. It's all nice and whooshed. I just got out of the shower now and I'm going to show you the process that it took to get the hair to here. <laughs> so don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. The subscribe button should be somewhere down over here. I always get the side wrong, so if not, I'm probably going to flip it for like two seconds and it'll be really weird. And if you haven't already, don't forget to follow me on social media as well. I love tweeting, I love Instagramming, and I'm trying to get better at it. <laughs> so yeah, don't forget to follow me on those as well. It's everything is adults with hope. I just made it way easier, you know? Super duper easy, okay? First thing that I do is I get into the shower. <laughs> so by now it's been a couple of days since I've washed my hair. I usually wash my hair either one or two times a week. I try not to go over that or anything because it's really bad for your hair. I used to wash my hair like every single day and it really made it dry and it stripped the moisture out of my hair like no other. The first thing that I do, I only do this once a week, so if I'm doing my hair twice a week I will do a um, full routine. This is what I call my full routine and then my other one is like a co-wash routine which I just use conditioner just to like revamp it a little bit more. So if you have curly hair, you don't want to use anything that has like parabens, sulfates, phosphate, fal phosphate, I can't pronounce all of them, sorry, um, things like that. And you don't want anything that has an alcohol in it as well. I try to avoid it as much as you can because I know that alcohols are what makes it like sudsy and cool because, you know, shampooing your hair is like fun, whatever. <laughs> But you don't want that. But if you do want something, I've been trying this out because I wanted to test it out and see how it was. Um, I'm so dedicated to my Diva Curl No Poo and I love that so so much. But I want to try something else out. <laughs> so what I've been trying out is the, the Shea Moisture. This is the Coconut and Hibiscus Curl and Shine Shampoo. It has um, silk protein and neem oil. It's but it's for thick curly hair and technically I would not call my hair thick but I do have more density I guess to my hair than other people do so I figured let's just get this one because I knew the other one wasn't going to be like enough for my hair. Um, so it has anti-frizz and it's moisture and shine. It's for moisture and shine. This one has everything I said. No parabens, no sulfates, no false falsifates, falsifates, whatever, uh, no paraffin, I'm not going to go through all of it, it's just, it's real, it's good. And they do not test on animals, which is good. So I take this and I put that right into my scalp. I don't focus it on the rest of my hair because it just literally comes down anyway and you're focused on when you're cleansing your hair, you want to focus more on the root because that is where all your product is built up from the week. <laughs> so what I like to do is I like to have this little comey device thing, fun, cool, little thing looks like a back massager or something. Uh, but what I like to do is I like to go in with this and massage my scalp. This helps promote hair growth for your hair. It's stimulating your scalp, it's massaging your scalp, and it's getting, you know, everything, all the dirt and stuff that's causing your hair not to grow, taking it out. Pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. So I really like this. This is by Babyless. Um, I picked this up at Sally's for probably like three dollars or something, three to five dollars, three to five dollars if you get. So when I'm not using the Shea Moisture, my other favorite one other than the Diva Curl No Poo, which 100% is my favorite, I love it so much, and you don't need a lot either. So this one is the Carol da Carol's Daughter Manuka, Maluka, Marlula, Mar Marula, Marula? Am I saying that right? It is um, the Curl Therapy Gentle cream cleanser and I love this so much more than I did when I first got it. So I got this a while ago and I tried it and I didn't really like it and didn't know how to really use it at the time and um, and one day I was like let's just read the directions. So I read the directions and um, you're supposed to massage it in your hair for like three to five minutes so what I would do is I would take this and I would use that massager thing in my scalp and I would just like sit there for a few minutes and you know massage my scalp guys I love it so so much so when I'm not using this I'll use this if I'm not using this I'll use my diva curl so I just kind of 
I've been like going round and round um, so my hair doesn't get used to like one thing which is probably a bad thing but whatever that's what I do so next up what I use is my diva curl one condition guys I have nothing but great things to say about this product I love it so so much it's so moisturizing it hydrates my hair so much I use the decadence because I need the hydration for my hair and so as you can see I am um, using this in my hair. I don't focus this on my scalp now. I don't like I switch, so I focus this more on the ends of my hair and the middle of my hair, and then a little, little, little bit on my scalp to like hydrate that too as well. Although that doesn't need that much hydration to me. It's more the ends of my hair that need the uh, hydration more. Um, but this is amazing. I. I've been using this religiously forever and ever and ever, so um, this stuff I really recommend as well. I use a lot of Diva Curl products. This isn't like a sponsored Diva Curl video or anything like that, even though I wish it was. But like, I just am so truly in love with the Diva Curl products that that's really like what works for me. It works for my hair. You just gotta test out the waters, you know. So once that is in my hair, I usually um, my routine usually is to shampoo or cleanse my hair and then I will go ahead I'll like shave my legs or whatever and then I will um, wash my body with like you know soap and whatever you know and then I will put my conditioner in right before I get out of the shower so that my hair doesn't absorb any more hot waterness you know if you get what I'm getting there because humidity is bad for your hair really really bad so what I do is um, once I'm oh also I use this brush I don't know why I'm waving this around but I just thought I would show you guys the comb uh, this is another like 99 cent comb from Sally's but you want to try to get something that has like these thick um, you know things if you have thicker hair on the thicker side of hair so once I am done with that when I'm done with my conditioner uh, what I will do is I will go like towards the end of my shower and I will um, turn on the cold water. Uh, if you have a shower head that lifts off from the shower, you're lucky. But um, I will get the cold water <laughs> onto my hair and then this helps decrease the frizz in your hair. Oh, so I'll turn on the water and then I will literally just go like this with my hair and go like that and then the water is on it. It's like fine, cool. Fun. Awesome. Yeah. So when you get out of the shower, what you want to do is you want to make sure your hair is still moisturized. You want to make sure you have still like still have water left in your hair, even though you know it's going to be dripping down your body. And some people really hate that. You know, I hate that too. But you know what? It's going to be good in the long run, I swear. <laughs> so if you don't like that, you can always wait. Um, I like to do too as well as I like to take a spray bottle and I put it in the fridge so that it gets cold and then when I want to use it I'll just take it out like if I know I'm gonna be in there in the morning I'll just make my way you know take the extra minute to go and get it <laughs> so um, I find that that's really really helpful because it helps decrease frizz especially on second and third day curls cool yeah that's for another video so the products that I like to use for my hair at first first I was using the Diva Curl Light Defining Gel. You want your hair to be nice and soft but still hold the curl. You want to use the Light Defining Gel. Light Defining Gel is way good. It's so awesome. It is very light. It has a light hold to it. Um, but it will keep your curls intact. This is what I've been using literally since like the 12th grade. I'm out of college now, so like I've been using it for a really long time, and I really, really love it. And it is like the fall and the winter time. And this is what I just started using, actually. Um, my hairdresser suggested it to me, and I never listened. And then I finally was like, "Let's get it." So I did, and it is the Diva Curl Styling Cream. It's what I like to do, as you can probably see in the video now, is I like to use one pump. For this side, one pump for the back and then one pump for this side because I need a lot of moisture in my hair for right now. So I I tend to use like three pumps, which is probably a little obsessive. That's okay. So what I have to do is call the praying hands. So what I do is I have the product and I like smush it around, whatever, and I use my praying hands to go through my hair and then I scrunch. Now you don't have to scrunch your hair after when you do this. If you want more volume to your hair, then scrunching will just increase that and it will encourage your curls to boost up a little bit more. 
So that's what I like to do, but um, you don't have to if you don't want to. But it's pr it's good, you know, to scrunch your hair. I like to scrunch it because, especially at the root, because I want volume still, and I'm still figuring that out. So, anyway, <laughs> anyway, so yes, the curling cream has been a life savior. It has definitely I've seen a huge change in my hair when I use this in the winter time and stuff because I feel like forever my hair was just losing so much the you know what I like to do too as well um, sometimes I'll do this sometimes I won't but um, I really like the smell of it too as well <laughs> it's the diva curl wave maker and this is just um, to help more of like texture wise and stuff so when I want like really defined curls or if I feel like around my hairline I always get really frizzy around my hairline even still uh, but what I like to do is just take a little like dime size of this product and um, smush it between my hands and then go like this with my hair scrunch it and then I'll take little pieces like this one's already drying but I'll take little pieces and I'll just like twist it and twisting is always good it's always good so um, that's what I'll like literally do to like my whole top when I'm like patient enough to do this and literally just go like this and then it really helps encourage the curl to go its right way you know you know cool you can also use this if you like to diffuse your hair too as well I've used it um, to diffuse my hair too um, sometimes but I usually air dry my hair the so that is what I do when I wash my hair I really hope that you guys enjoyed this don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already if you have any questions I will try to answer them to the best of my ability, and if you have used any products, if you have curly hair, um, leave them down below because I would love to try them out. I'm thinking of trying Bounce Curl next. I really want to try out some of their products, so let me know down below if you've tried them before, if you have tried something else that you really like, <laughs> and yeah, that's it. Woo so thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And I will talk to you in my next video. Bye!